Many of those that took up arms had never seen combat before. Some were still only in their teens. In their letters and diaries, we see their great strength. This is an extract from a letter by Captain Alistair Bannerman of the Royal Warwickshire Regiment, addressed to his wife and written in his diary on the morning of D-Day. It is now 0300 hours in the morning and I've just been up to the bridge. It is rather light because the moon is shining, though heavy clouds cover her. One can see the row of small ships and of darker balloons silhouetted in front and behind us against the grey sea. You, my angel, sleep gently in the nursery, I hope. Your thoughts have helped me so much. They have given me real strength. I can imagine how you listen to the news at nine o'clock and think of me with love. I hope that Andrew's golden head rests gently and quietly upon his small pillow and that Richard is nice and comfortable lying in his narrow little carry cot. A long line of flares hangs over Cherbourg, or I suppose it is Cherbourg, and a few anti-aircraft tracer shots go up in the air above the immediate front line. Funny to imagine that their Germans run around their guns. I'd like to know what they are thinking. The whole channel between us and Cherbourg is filled with little ships, which all quietly and efficiently sail towards France. The British, Canadian, and American fighting forces on the warpath. I do not believe that I can now write for very long. We can now see the French coast, and very soon we will have to play our part. I must go now and look for the landing markings with my binoculars to ascertain our landing points. So, my darling, on we go. I know that you are with me. Au revoir. God bless. I love you. Captain Bannerman survived the landings and the war, being taken prisoner and returning home to his wife and sons in April the next year. Too many never returned. They remain in some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. We will always remember those who served and those who waved them off. The mothers and fathers, brothers and daughters who watched their loved ones go into battle, unsure if they would ever return. Today we remember the bravery of those who crossed this sea to liberate Europe. Those who ensured that Operation Overlord was a success. And those who waited for their safe return. 